Hello everyone. Welcome back to My Little Lamb's Nursery. I'm Yolanda and this is My Little Lamb's Nursery and today I want to come on here just to share um a topic with you guys. Um that's been on my mind a while um because you guys might be feeling this way um because as we know a lot of people that are in our circle do not um sometimes care about the hobby um meaning um the dolls and um I just thought my seed just came off I just thought of, um that I would come on and um let that be one of the focus um of the topic so today's topic is um do you want to come into the dog community but don't want to expose yourself? Um, and what I mean by that is you could come in and be um, incognito. And what that means is um, you can make you a Dolly account. You know, people don't have to know all your business. You know, sometimes you can't tell your left hand what your right hand is going to do or do or or are doing um, because um, we live in a society that likes to judge, you know. And um, so you could come in, you know, make you a Dolly account under a, a, you know, a different name. And like I've done myself, I don't, I'm not using, you know, my name. I'm using, I made up, you know. Um, my own nursery name, you know, um, my little lamb's nursery. So you can do the same if you want to show your dolls on social media. Just make up you your own um, dolly name, you know. Or if you want to come in and share dolls of your collection, you know, and become a content creator, you can do the same. You know, um, you don't even have to show your face. So that's that's what I wanted to come on here and um and share that with you guys if um any of you are thinking about it on the fence about it you know uh when i first came in um i didn't know if i would be um successful um i didn't know if if, if i would freeze up you know i did many tank takes you know when i first started <laughs> started off i did many several you know takes of um you know messing up but that's what I mean by taking um, several takes of messing up on a video several times and um, trying to focus on the matter or the subject rather than who's going to judge me. Um, how do I come off? So I just said, I'm just going to put my mind to it and I'm just going to do it. And um, a lot of the time, you know, um, um, people, you can't, the whole thing is you can't please everybody. And, um, my journey in the dog collecting, um, world or community has been just that everybody is not going to like you. And there are going to be judging because, um, that's what ladies do. And that's what societies do. They like to judge. And, but the heavenly father says, don't judge or we'll be judged. So I always try to, you know, when I come on, I always try to, you know, let you guys know, you, you know, what the flow of things is right now, um, how things come off, how I, you know, um, how things come off as, um, as, as a collector, you know, and like I said, I, um, um, I was once, I can say this once that I was, you know, scammed, um, by, by not a person. Thankfully it was, it was a, um, it was a, a corporation um, that distributed um, knockoff dolls of knockoff kits, and um, I ex I did expose them um, with my financial um, institution, which is my bank, and I was um, I was one of the lucky ones because I was able to get my my funds back and um, and expose you know, the culprits. Um, and I'm sure I wasn't the only one. Um, when I, when I did find out, um, um, there were other, um, people or collectors, um, that found out, 
um, that they were scammed. I found out that they were scammed as well. But this being said, when you coming in as a as 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 a newbie, um, you don't know um, the ups the the ups and downs, the odds and ends of the reborn, vinyl reborn or silicone um, situations. And when we say scammers, there could be scammers that selling you a doll, and there could be scammers that claim to have the doll. Um, um, so it's very imp- it's a vital it's vital to you and very important that you pay attention to those stigmas because we're not making this up as collectors. These are these scams really happen to collectors and um, artists. Um, not just collectors, artists too, because majority of the time collectors, I mean, artists are collectors as well. And, um, and these are thousands of dollars that are being, you know, um, um, stolen. And, um, these, um, people come in, um, playing that they have these particular dolls. So, um, so when you so that that crossing the bridge so crossing the bridge as to coming in just getting your feet wet and then knowing the lingo knowing how to um go about getting a doll these are the all different steps so that you're covering all you know co- covering yourself um in other words watching your back um when you're coming in um and um deciding on if you want um, to do this, um, I try to come on, um, when I learn it, when I, when it comes across to me, I try to come on and share, you know, my, either my, my hiccups or, or my, um, my, uh, uh, valuable information that I, so you won't fall short as well. Um, and, um, when you, when you fall short of one or two things within the con um community don't let it you know deter you you know and i almost i almost did you know and 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 like i said when you go through things you know um whether it be you know people that have a problem with you the heavenly father says um who when i am for you who could be against you so you have to take that with a grain of salt and continue on. You know, this is a race. Everybody's running a race. You know, and the, he- and the Heavenly Father and the angels are watching over all of us to see what you do as a person, to see how you grow where you are a planet. Are you a part of the, f- are you a part of the, sh- are you a sheep or are you a goat? You know, this is what our Heavenly Father is, is examining. He's examining our hearts. And the angels are standing by and they're watching and they want, and they're seeing each of us as individuals, how we, um, find a resolution. Did we go, did we, did, was that, did we come back with that same venom or did, did or did we, did we set, see, be set apart and, and, and be the bigger figure. And, um, that's what I try to come on and, um, and, um, express, um, to my to my subbies that even if you are um, uh, tr- um, trying to uh, decide if you want to come in, you know, no, it's not easy. This um, um, being in the dog community is not easy. Um, um, as a collector, um, there's other stories of not just my own. There's other um, collectors, um, artists um, that do. Um, our content creators, and they have they have what you call these horror stories too. You know, n- nothing in this world is perfect, and nor is the nor is the dog community. And you, when you come inside, you you'll quickly find that out. You know, but don't let it deter you because this is a, 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 first and foremost, it is a hobby. Um, but it's a it, it's a hobby that you can't go in, um, um, not being wise. You want to come into the um, hobby being wise, being wise and discerning. And when you have a gut feeling, when it says as far as purchasing a doll, um, go with your gut. 
because your your gut's going to tell you or call a friend, tell a friend, you know, has the game show, call a friend, you know, <laughs> you know, two, 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 two minds are better than one. Four eyes is better than two. So it's always best to go with your gut. A woman's into in a woman's intuition is nine times out of 10, always on point. So, um, yeah, I've had, you know, I've had, um, 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 other, uh, women in the community that, you know, that we look out for each other and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, um, sh um, you know, as far as collecting or buying a doll or selling a doll, um, one will, um, call the other and, um, um, you know, give the situation and then, um, um, ask, you know, what you, what, what you think about this person and, you know, and I'll be like, well, um, you know, how is that references? Does anybody else know of the person? Um, let's do that. Um, um, because that's one thing you want to do is, um, have, you want to get references from that person, um, to be safe. If anybody else in the community has sold to that person, is this person a newbie? You know, that's, um, that's just coming in. How long have they been on Facebook? You want to check that. Um, how long have they been, how many, um, um, Facebook groups, uh, regarding dolls are they in, you know, um, as to, as to, you know, all the groups that you in, you know, do a, try to do a comparison, you know, when it comes to that person that you, you're, you know, trusting your daughter come to, because that's why a lot of collectors, um, will not sell, um, to you if you're not uh, inside of the dog community, you know, you can't just come off and private message somebody and like, how much is your doll? Nine times out of 10, they're not even going to answer back, you know, and, and they don't even, they don't even respond like that. You have, you know, they have to put the, first of all, they have to put the doll up for sale first. So you can't just come off, you know, asking, you know, how much you want with your doll. You know, one, one, one thing is about that is one, it's rude. Um, two is the person's going to be like, who are you and why are you contacting me? <laughs> why are you contacting me? So, um, a lot of times, um, um, artists or collectors, um, do not like that, you know, because, um, you know, that's like, you, you, that's like stalking, you know, that's like over the line stalking and you don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, you, you, there's ways to come at people. A lot of times it's not what you say at the time it's how you say it. So when you address things, um, 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 uh, in a way that is not offensive to the person or, uh, you know, like you're, you're badgering somebody or bugging somebody, how you address, um, it can, can make a whole difference. You know, if you, if you come off as, um, please, you know, pleasing to the hearer, then, then you just come in directly and just roar like you're, you know, like you're attacking them and give me what you got. <laughs> you know, like this is a stick up. Give me what you got. You know, what? you don't want to come off like that, you know, and, um. So I want to change her out of that, um, that posh peanut outfit. And I have another outfit, um, that I want to, I've been had, I done had for the longest and it's, a uh, um, I, I keep wanting to see how it fits her because it's hot here in the Antelope Valley. This is a Cape Quinn, a zero to three. And it's like a, um, what do you call it? Like a linen Muslim material and it's like gold and white color. And I just think it's really, really cute. It's, it's got frizzle, um, yeah, what you call it? Just, you know, frill. And then it's buttoned down and it's like a half shirt. So I want to try this on her. And then it has these matching pants. I thought that would be cute. And then, um, I thought I would put some, these sandals on it. Some white sandals. Either these white, I think these white sandals will look cute. Yeah, I think those white sandals would be cute on her and turn her to the camera. 
So, oh, so I'm sorry. This is this is my um, Claire Taylor Willow, and she's um, she was done by um, Rachel E. Farrell Shell. Um, she is considered a boo boo baby from Claire Taylor. Um, I think I think the boo boo. I was just going over looking at her, and um, I think the boo boo is that she doesn't turn her head, um, and it stays. I think that's what what the boo boo is. What was for her? Cause her 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 neck is supposed to her head is supposed to turn freely without what turning back. So I think that's the boo boo. But she's my boo boo, and I think she's beautiful. Um, and so um, yeah. So I want to change her diaper, give her a fresh diaper. So yeah. So um, so yeah. So if you wanted to. Oh, so back to what I'm saying. So, yeah. So if you come in, coming in, and you want to be a content creator, you want you can. Um, there's ways that people don't have to know who you are because you don't have to use your real name. Just like when you do and have a Facebook account, everybody don't use their their real name. So I make up, you know, fake names. Um, or they they'll use their real name, or they'll put up a picture of something. You know, because I had to, t I, me and myself, I had to change, take off my, my picture because I was getting like random guys contacting me, you know, trying to hook up. And I was like, I was getting so irritated. So I just, I just put a picture of Las Vegas, <laughs> you know, because, you know, you can't, these days you got to be safe, you know? So I just, I just, I just put up, um, uh, I just took my face off. So, um, yeah, I was just getting these, just so many guys trying to, you know, talk. And I was like, what the heck? And so, yeah, so just as a safety precaution for myself, that's what I did. That's what I did. Um, it was getting out of control and I was got tired of explaining myself and per trying to protect myself. And, um, I took my, my, um, my personal profile picture off and, um, and the only way you're going to see my professional profile picture is if you go actually go inside and um and my profile and um find pictures of me but that's the only that's the only way um I, t I just got tired of saying no I'm not in the game I'm not in the market you know so yeah so that's what you can do you guys if you're planning on you know if you're on the fence um about being a, a content creator um, and, um, and I have to worry about somebody, um, calling you crazy, call you, calling you cray cray and, uh, for collecting dolls and, you know, telling your family members, um, that you, you over there tripping, buying babies for thousands of dollars and, um, and, um, you can't afford your car note. <laughs> Well, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully that, ho ho hopefully that's not the case. You know, we want, we want to, we want to be wise collectors. We want to be mindful. You know, we want, we don't want to be sleeping in our cars or, or we don't, and, and we don't want them taking our cars, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm just cleaning up her, her little bottom, her little bottom. These are, um, these are these honest 99% water base. Um, and they were three ninety nine at Marshalls, and um, yeah, I try to see when I come on. I be trying to tell y'all stuff, where to get stuff, how much it costs, so you guys could, you know, so you guys won't be thinking everything is overly expensive, you know. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm role playing with the baby, you know, and um, let me see if this honest. I love these honest diapers. I want to see if she could fit this one. But she got a little tushy. So let's see. And like I said, this is a this is a family channel. And um you should teach your children about their body parts. Don't sugarcoat because you you know they got you got you got some perverts out here. <laughs> you got some stalkers and you got some perverts. you got some doll stalkers and you got some perverts. <laughs> so um yeah, you you should you shouldn't sugarcoat the human anatomy when it comes to your your children. You should tell them what their body parts are, 
as I did with mine. And um, don't be, you know, for instance, they'll be telling, for for instance, they'll be telling your your um, daughter that you know this your Polly Pocket, you know, which is a toy. Or, or, <laughs> and nobody should be playing with our Polly Pocket, you know, or, or, um, you know, this is Jimmy Choo, you know, telling your little son, this is Jimmy Choo and knowing, knowing, um, a Jimmy Choo with some shoes or some perfume and, and, and should nobody should be messing, um, um, wearing no Jimmy Choo or wearing no Jimmy Choo's or smelling no Jimmy Choo. You know, so stuff, you know, just, just, just keep it, you know, PG with your, with your little ones and tell them what their body parts are. Explain to them, you know, and use a doll if you need to get you a human, a, 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 um, a doll that's, um, you know, anatomically correct and, and teach your children, you know, exactly what their their body part is, you know, don't sugarcoat it because especially in this day and time, it's very important. And um, if they in school, if they're school aged, tell them, you know, give them a, give them a coat, you know, to, you know how you got these predators come out here and they like, um, I came to pick you up. Your mama, your daddy told me to come pick you up and it'd be, that's not, a, that's not true. So you 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 so that your do, your child is going your son and your daughter are gonna be like okay then what's the co what's the code, and they don't know the code they're gonna run away they're gonna be like oh shoot you hip you hip to the skip, and if they tell you uh, tell you something you know, your child know that's not the code and your child thing is what to run away and run and tell, tell the police officer tell the teacher, tell the yard duty tell who any any adult that's there, you know on school grounds. You know, you run for help. And uh, if worst come to worst, as I tell my daughter, use your backpack, pile, weapon, <laughs> use your pen, use your pencil, anything. You know, I'll shoot. I don't play when it came to my babies. I shoot. I school with mine on a regular. And I, my son, I didn't, even if I, because I have a son, uh uh, he got schooled the same way as my daughter. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. Watching my children like a hawk. You can ask anybody. You can ask anybody that know me and my kids didn't go nowhere without me. And if they spent the night over their grandparents' house, shoot, I'm still asking. Anybody touch you? All that. Because like I said, people come over, you know, come over their house, company come over. You're not there. You don't know. You don't know when your, your child is unsupervised. You know, people get distracted. People, you know, oh, I'm going to run over here, you know. I'm um, for a minute. Can you watch such and such? No, see, you don't know none of that. You don't know if somebody running over here, over there, running to the store and then got you watching somebody else's child. You don't know. So, and a lot of times, oh, if it's a cute, a lot of times, um, I'll be smothering yourself, girl. If it's a really cute, I like you, mamas. This little frill. I should have had it. You know, nobody don't be doing no ironing. <laughs> don't nobody be doing no ironing. But Claire Taylor, she I just love how she made the willow. I love how she makes her dolls. Um Rachel Lee Farrell sure. I love how she does her um uh Malt Lean and her you know her her hues. I call it a monkey bite on their feet. I love those details. Um, I love how Claire Taylor did the toes on the Willows. Willow was one of my favorite kits on all her dolls. Um, I am looking. I do have another kit. My um, my Ken Awake that I got to um, send. Um, it's either going to be um, Rachel Lee Farrell Shell or it's going to be Vanessa Treffenden. So those are two artists that I done threw out there. So if you guys get you a doll. From um, Silicon Doll Studios or Blank Kits or whatever, wherever you guys get your Blank Kits from, um, or Rebounds.com, wherever you get your Blank Kits. Um, um, we Baby Nursery, um, um, Jenny Lee, she sells Blank Kits as well. Um, I love Jenny Lee as well. Um, I've been, that's, I got my eye on her, so, um, as well. 
um, <laughs> and, um, uh, that's that she's she's on my she's on my radar right now, y'all. Jenny Lee is on my radar. I'm just put that out there. She's on my radar. So um um yeah, so it's either gonna be Vanessa Chuffin Thin that's gonna paint my Kent or um or um Rachel Lee Farrell Shell because Rachel Lee Farrell Shell was the one who painted and rooted um Natalia that's before you and I think she did a beautiful job on my mind and um I got a headband oh let's try these shoes I don't I don't like her um I don't like her um feet to get um scratched up so let's give her a sock because I always try to protect the silicone Look like a little sock, but we're gonna try it on her. Uh, but she got little feet. I don't like the. I don't like the. Um, I always try to protect. And these these um sandals sometimes be kind of hard around the strap part. So I always try to, you know, protect my in, investment, as they say. So I got these little. Um, sandals. Um, I got these from Burlington's, or I either got them from Bur they was either from Burlington's or what's the other store? Um, Dee's. Yeah, Dee's or Burlington's. And that was like three ninety nine, four ninety nine. You know, stuff that you're not gonna break the bank. And um, when you when I go in there, you know I normally come out with like, um, you know some nice some nice items like real cheap too. Like shoe, I go in there for I look for shoes as well as I go into Burlington's because Burlington's at Dee's normally be the it'll be the same around the same prices. Um, like even uh, what I like about um Dee's. They be having like the mams. I got like all my mam bottles. Matter of fact, I need to start using my mam bottles and pacifiers. Um, cause um, it makes some bottles. Cause I bought that six hundred glue, the six hundred um, six thousand glue, and um, I need to make some some bottles. You know, with the with the fake formula in it. So when I role playing. Uh oh, I didn't get it all the way. Oops, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's down, yo, it's down on the side of your foot, mamas. I just get down there. It's stuck to your sock. <laughs> the Velcro got stuck to her sock. I'm like, wait a minute, what happened? What happened to the Velcro? All right, there we go, mamas. Okay, that looks cute. They look like they look like um they can really because they're gathered at the bottom. They look so cute on her. Oh mama, she looks so pretty, mama. Show your little belly button. Oh, you sexy mama. Woo woo woo. You sexy mama. Ooh, look at mamas. We gonna get no perverts. We don't want no perverts. So mama got mama got mama gonna get her gat. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a gat. Let me look at my baby. <laughs> okay, there she goes. She's oh no, I gotta do her hair. Okay, I, I found this headband because it's gold and white. So I thought this headband would look cute, or um, or this headband, or that one. That looks too white. I think the gold, maybe the gold, or or my bag of or my bag of bowls, my other. I gotta, I gotta get. A, um, we're gonna have another game too. Um, do another raffle of how many bowls y'all can guess. Cause this is not all my bowls. This, I got a whole trunk full of a whole trunk load of bowls. And you got, I want you guys to guess how many is in the. Is in the trunk. Oh, I think I found one. That'll do. 
with the lace. You see the lace. Oh, that's kind of cute. Or I got one that looks just like the shoes with the flowers. Wait. No, that looks too white. Um, here go one. Um, two, two. I got two. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the gold one. I just started. I was your first choice. <laughs> Normally works the best. Your first time going my first choice. Yeah. So next up, I'm going to chase my Gabigail. My Gabigail. She's going to be up next. So, um, yeah. Her bracelet. I mean, her necklace. Okay, let's give her. Let's spray her hair. And I have no hair has came out. So that's why I said I like I like um Rachel Lee. Um there's other people in the um doc community, other artists that does good root. Um uh Laura Brittle, Lazaro. She she roots good. She um she normally well root for um other artists in the community. I know she roots for um Vanessa Trefithan because Vanessa Trefithan she doesn't um root. Um she normally paint and then she'll have Laura Brittle um root for her. And um her her um artist um she does she's she just came out um Rachel Lee she just came out with um a cloth body design. So if you are thinking about getting a cuddle baby, you could check out um you could find her on Facebook or Boot Hills Nursery and um uh find out how much I don't I don't know how much her she's selling for her cloth body for but um you can surely ask you know ask her um I don't know how much they go for because I've I've I don't have any cloth body um for a cuddle, so I never had a cuddle cuddle head baby. Um, but you could definitely hit up um Rachel Lee for Rochelle from Boot Hills Nursery, and um, yeah, I always try to, you know, put good artists out, you know, let you guys know about the artists, and um, you know. There she is, you guys. She looks adorable. <laughs> there you go, mamas. You look pretty. Oh, mamas. Yeah, you look like a pretty girl. Yes, you look pretty, mamas. So there she goes, you guys. Okay, so I like her outfit. So this is a Kate Quinn outfit. So this was a win. It fits her really cute. I like it. Um, Kate Quinn fits her good. Um, the other outfit I had on her was Posh Peanut. They fit her. They fit her good because she's a slim baby. She's long, but she's slim. So I, I like um, Kate Quinn outfits um, because sometimes different designer fits your baby. Um, differently, so I do like Kate Quinn outfits. Like she has all the Kate, Kate Quinn outfits, and she got a lot of, I bought her a lot of um, posh peanut outfits, and like my boys, my um, my kids, um, they're more like 
Um, they're not heavy, fat, chunky babies. So I like H&M for them. And um, so we're going to bring her up. So you guys can see her. There's uh, Natalia. And there's her little shoes. They look cute on her feet. Her little shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and there she is, you guys. <laughs> okay, we got to put in, I like her little, it's like a leather, little leather headband. She looks so adorable. Okay, let me put her to the side. And we're going to get, we're going to get our, um, we're going to get our, um, well, how much time am I in? Oh, no, I don't have time. I'm in 35 minutes. We're going to chat. We're going to have to change Mama Sita um, next time. I have to, have to come on it until, uh, for the raffle. That's what I want to tell the raffle. I'm sorry, you guys. Um. I didn't know I <laughs> get to talking and and um um time go by so quick and I don't want my video to shut off because I'm already 30 30 uh six minutes in so okay okay um oh so if you're new to the channel and you find this video entertaining and um informative and you would like to be a part of my little lamb's nursery Please go ahead and hit the notification, hit the subscribe button, and share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And when you um, like and subscribe to the channel, you'll become um, um, a part of the raffle that's going on for this um, a Mary Myers bear. And um, um, so that's only that's what you, all you need is to um, subscribe to the channel to be able to win this bear. Um, it's going to be a raffle. All you have to do is pick a number between 1 and 100 and go in the comments. Leave me a comment. It could be about what the video, if you thought the video was informative. Or um, you could just say, um, I want to be included in the raffle um, of your 700 subscriber giveaway. And um, and you pick a number between one and one and hundred, and put it in the comments your number, and um, that's all that I ask that you subscribe to the channel, and um, and you could be um, in the raffle as well. Um, I do have another raffle coming up, um, and it will be for the seven hundred and fiftieth uh, subscriber. It is an elephant pillow, um, it's adorable pillow um, for anybody's nursery. Um, elephants could go with anything, I pretty much um, think, because elephants are family-oriented animals. Um, so, yes, that's going to be in um, for the next um, giveaway. I'm going to be having random giveaways um, throughout my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, so, um, yeah, so with that being said, um, I hope that you guys found this video informative, and I hope that... Um, um, you can share my video and to your friends and family and, um, do me a favor by liking the video. Um, even if you don't subscribe so that my video can, um, get, get past through algorithms. Um, and that would help me and I would highly appreciate it. Um, because other, otherwise my videos get pushed back. And for people that are trying, you know, that need, want um, informative information, um, I try to get this out to the two uh, newbies and people that are deciding to come in and what to expect. So with that being said, uh, and as always, peace, love, and prayers. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. And I love you all. And oh, and if you if you're a collect, um, Claire Taylor collector, I do have. Um, you can find me on my pr um, private group on Facebook under Claire Taylor's Collectors Club. 
And um, that's my other place. So like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you if you have you like to share photos of your Clarinet or doll, and um, go ahead and um, jump on Facebook and join the private group. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and prayers. Bye for now.